Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Can Virtual Reality Help Construction Engineers? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the Journal of Construction, Engineering, and Management, published on March 25, 2021. Research conducted by Fernanda Late and Bing Han from the Department of Civil, Architectural, and Environmental Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. With virtual reality, or VR, you can look and move around in a digital world. We wanted to know if VR could help construction engineers plan their projects. To find out, we set up an experiment where expert and novice engineers used either VR goggles or a normal desktop computer to review engineering designs in three dimensions, or 3D. We found out that VR goggles made it easier for engineers to spot problems in construction plans. VR also helped engineers work out the order in which a project should be built. But VR has some limitations and should only be used for appropriate tasks and scenarios. Introduction. Have you ever wished you could step inside a video game? Virtual reality or VR lets you explore worlds inside your computer. VR works by connecting your actions to images shown on a screen. Airplane pilots use a kind of VR called flight simulators. They use controls that feel and look like real airplane controls, but the windows are computer screens. Doctors can use VR to practice surgeries. Parks and museums sometimes use VR to let people experience places that are too dangerous or too fragile for visitors. We wanted to know if VR could help construction engineers. Construction engineers are responsible for making sure that the plans for building structures are exactly right before the project starts. They are responsible for making sure that the project is done safely. The traditional method of reviewing construction plans is slow. Using VR, an engineer could move through a 3D digital plan for a construction project, looking around as if they were inside the structure. We thought that this might make the construction design review easier, faster, and more effective. Here is an image showing participants in the experiment with VR goggles. You can see what they're viewing through the VR goggles on the screen behind them. Methods. We set up a digital model of a complex chemical refinery. We wanted the experiment to be as close to reality as possible, so we worked closely with engineers who had built a real refinery. We built a digital version of an important part of the refinery, where gasoline is heated up and sent through a complicated series of pipes. We recruited 48 construction engineers. Half of the participants had three or more years of experience, experts, and half were still graduate students, novices. We then randomly assigned some of the engineers to explore the digital 3D model using a desktop computer. The rest explored the same model using head-mounted VR goggles. We measured how well the participants did at four tasks. Task one, finding mistakes in the design. Task two, planning the steps for construction. Task three, checking plans for completeness. And task four, recalling whether items were part of the design. Figure one shows examples of design mistakes for the engineers to find from task one. For each example, the mistake can be seen circled in white. In figure 1a, you can see supports that are too short. In figure 1b, you can see supports that don't connect to anything. In figure 1c, you can see a lamp in an impossible place. And in figure 1d, you can see boxes overlapping each other. Results. We compared the results of participants using VR goggles and those using desktop computers. Task 1. Both experts and novices who used VR goggles were better at spotting mistakes in the design. Task 2. The VR goggle users also scored higher in planning the steps for construction. Task 3. All of the participants, regardless of experience or tool, got perfect scores. And task four, participants using desktop computers were better at remembering whether objects were part of the design. Figure two shows the results for task one, finding mistakes in the design. 
The height of the bars show the average number of mistakes participants in each group found. The four bars indicate results from VR experts, desktop experts, VR novices, and desktop novices from left to right. Who is better at finding mistakes, engineers with VR goggles or those with desktop computers? Discussion. Reviewing a construction design is a difficult task. Errors can be hard to spot. Participants with VR goggles were better at finding errors because they were able to look at the design from many angles. By virtually walking around the structure, they could see problems more easily. A bar supporting a pipe might be a few inches too short, and you wouldn't be able to see it until you got up close. Or a light fixture might be placed in an impossible spot. With the goggles, participants could see a larger area at a time. Having a larger field of view also seemed to make it easier for participants to figure out the right order of steps for construction. Although VR did not seem to help engineers remember specific objects in the design, we believe more field research will help to explore this process. Conclusion. It's exciting to think about ways to use new technologies. At the same time, it's important to make sure that the new technology actually makes things better. We found that there were several tasks where VR helped construction engineers do their job more effectively. Construction engineering companies will benefit from using VR as part of the construction design review process. But before that can happen, it needs to be easier to make digital models of construction designs. VR is much less expensive than it used to be, and we think there are lots of interesting uses of VR that no one has thought of yet. Have you ever tried using VR headsets? What would you use virtual reality to do in your everyday life? Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.